आयु भवन दुबे पुते ग्रेड टेन साइंस इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द केमिकल बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ एस पर द श्रीलंकन गवर्नमेंट स्कूल सिलेबस एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट लिपिड्स टुडे इन दिस ब्यूटीफुल वीडियो नंबर इलेवन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड व्हाट वी विल लर्न टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज लिपिड and then after that we will move on to understand the significance of lipids and a, a test for lipids we are going to do sudan 3 test for the lipids let's go into the subject and see what exactly these things are lipids what exactly are lipids you have seen lipids in several forms but these are the two forms that you find lipids those are fats and then after that oil now there is a clear difference between fats and oil let's understand that now fats you can find solid at room temperature while oil you find liquids at room temperature just like the cooking oil what is in front of you so that is oil and the butter which is in front of you is fats so you know that you cannot call this particular oil as fats it is different so those but both of those are coming under the category called yes lipid now what is there in the lipid similar to carbohydrates fats also contain these three things carbon hydrogen and oxygen but if the compounds if the things similar to carbohydrates fats also contain the same carbon hydrogen and oxygen what is the big difference that we want to understand now now what is the difference then okay now here is the answer for that question but a lipid contains much less oxygen much less oxygen than a carbohydrates that is the difference so carbohydrates will have more oxygen than the lipids so that's a clear definition all right now lipids are insoluble in insoluble in polar solvents you see that one it is insoluble in water kind of a thing and they are soluble in organic solvents the kerosene oil is a inorganic solvents or petrol is an inorganic solvent so if you have something in your hands like if it is fat or lipid right you cannot wash that away from water have you ever experienced that yes but if you have a kerosene oil you can clear it very simply right we have a lot of experience eating jackfruit yeah and then after that jackfruit has a sticky material which is not washable with the water we use kerosene oil when we were young kids now groundnut coconut gingerly butter and margarine are examples for foods which contains lipid if you eat groundnut or if you eat coconut gingerly butter or margarine you will have lipids in those foods right now fatty acids and glycerol react to form lipids how the lipids are getting formed for that one you need fatty acids and glycerol those are important and then the lipids will form along with the water this is how the lipids are formed now we understood what exactly the lipids are and what kind of lipids there are two different types of lipids fats and oil how it's differentiating and how we can wash away from the hands also now significance of lipids are very important as well now as an energy source lipids act as an energy source as carbohydrates and proteins that means lipid is also taking a part and taking a big role in giving energy how big it is here it is more energy is produced during burning of lipids that means if you have more lipids if you have more lipids you can produce more energy in your body so that says the people who have more lipids in the body definitely can do more energetic work and definitely it's a advantage now what else that we have to learn about the lipids to form different structural components lipid is helping lipid is one of the most important compounds in cell membrane lipid is 
one of the most important compounds in cell membrane like especially phospholipids and cholesterol are very very important now if you see that anatomy of the leaf you will see the upper portion there is a yellow color layer that is called cuticle now for conservation of water that is important let's read this one now the wax known as cutin that's a wax definitely present on the surface of the plant body to conserve water if there is no layer as such the water will go away from the leaf for that reason we need that cuticle layer do animals or human got something like that now see this one most animals body covering also contains wax mm -hmm. which helps to avoid desiccation as it is impermeable to water also it is definitely in most of the animals body also so that is good lipid layers now there is something called fat layer in the skin to maintain the body temperature to maintain the body temperature that fat layer of skin is required now warm blooded animals such as birds and mammals possesses a hypodermal fat layer which acts as a thermal insulator it's in our body also we are mammals right fat layer in the skin is there it's helping us to keep our which acts as a thermal insulator keeping and protecting from unwanted heatness it helps to maintain their body temperature so the oil or the fat layer is very important inside the body to maintain the body temperature to protect internal body organs also it's helping so the fat layers surrounds the organs and structures in the body and absorbs external shocks definitely there is so much of external shocks when you walk when you fall when you jump when you run every time the fat layer will give a very good protection so thereby provides protection is it's one of the duty as well now one more important thing to synthesize some hormones now some hormones of vertebrates like estrogen testosterone estrogen in female and testosterone hormone in male and cortisol are lipid compounds it, these are very important hormones that a female and male should have for the reproduction purposes also these are always always lipid compounds understood that one also now test to identify lipids let's understand it's a very simple one what you have to do you have to have sudan for that one number one some amount of gingerly oil or coconut oil is added into a test tube you're going to put some gingerly oil or coconut oil inside a test tube and mix sudan 3 reagent then after that this will happen so appearance of red flat globules so you see this one this is what you call globules that means separation so the positive results is there you can see a couple of layers see you see that this one it is not mixed this says there is lipids in that so this is a coconut oil so two layers top layer is orange red top layer is orange red now here the negative results one layer only color is evenly distributed this is not with the fat when your specimen got fat the globules or globules will appear just like that it will be red fat globules lovely isn't it okay so you understood how how to test the fat also sudan 3 test they call it as so we understood so many other things this is an extra knowledge fatty acids can be divided into two group as follows what are those saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids saturated fatty acids exist in room temperature as solid or semi-solids so unsaturated fatty acids are in lipid form liquid form i'm sorry so the fatty acids which contain only single bonds with carbon atoms 
Now, fatty acids that contains one or several double bonds with carbon atoms are known as unsaturated fat acid. Look at this picture. Unsaturated and saturated fat foods are in front of you. Saturated fats are thicker and it's in definitely solid form. And unsaturated fats you find from the oil, even in the fish, even in the butter fruit you eat, even in pistachio kind of seeds like that. So, we came to know about lipid in a very strong way. What is lipid and significance of lipid along with the Sudan 3 test for the lipid. And we came to know little extra knowledge about saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Now, go to the internet and find out which saturated, which unsaturated is not good for the body and learn more about it also. Till I meet you again in another beautiful session just like this. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself.